Hi guys. Hello everybody. Thank you so much and welcome back again to the channel and we want to thank you so much for the support and the love that you're showing us in our channel and we say thank you so much. We are. We're so grateful for your support. Yeah. Thanks guys. In this video, guys, I'm going to talk about um, the differences between Kenya and Australia and why I prefer living here in Australia over Kenya. Yeah. So guys, first and foremost, uh, we want to talk about is the safety over here. Uh, specifically here on the Gold Coast where we are living is so safe and more secure. Yeah. And you can just live in the house all by yourself without uh, wondering or worrying like uh, you will be um you will be getting some intruders mm -hmm. and yeah some sort of yeah. yeah now you've always felt really safe and secure haven't you queen yeah uh, from day one and we've never had a problem yeah. or an issue yeah whatsoever yeah. yeah and here guys because we are not living in an apartment um we own a house and Danny has been living in this house for for the for over like five years and you in terms of safety um you cannot expect like someone to knock at your door or maybe someone calling unless it's just like um uh like delivery guys yeah. but even if the delivery guys are delivering something some parcels they just put in front of your door yeah and that is it yeah, yeah that's right yeah it's usually it's just people who we know are going to be dropping over yeah. like family and friends yeah um yeah because it's so quiet around here isn't yeah. it babe is that a yeah. difference that you notice too like how quiet yeah it's peaceful so it is? quiet calm there's yeah. no noise especially <laughs> like compared to kenya there are like a lot of matatu noise the motorcycles yeah. here it's so so safe secure and peaceful calm yeah yeah and also in terms of like safety uh while danny was in kenya i was so so worried like maybe uh we might uh, come across pickpocket eyes or you know but here there's nothing that i can worry mm -hmm. about that you can freely walk with your phone holding it yeah. on your hand and nothing happens yeah that's yeah right. yeah and I guess the thing about it is, too, if something does happen, yeah. you've got, like, police and security that respond immediately, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, nothing to worry about, Queen. Yeah. 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 And also another thing, uh, hey, the infrastructure, guys. Yeah. When I arrived here, maybe I was expecting to see roads full of potholes, like ours back in Kenya, but it wasn't. The roads are just smooth flowing no bumps actually guys there are no so have i ever um seen any bump road bumps here no nah, there are no there are no road bumps here <laughs> compared bumps. to kenya guys like road bumps yeah not those bumps there's an odd speed bump but at a pedestrian yeah, crossing the speed bump, that's I mean it that. and they're very rare yeah, but, yeah. That, but no bumps like you see like in nowhere Ke yeah. yeah on a um, highway <laughs> Yeah. yeah and yeah let's go back to the roads yeah um like every driver like all the car drivers or car owners observe as uh, traffic rules they have to stop when there's a stop sign you know it's like a very different from the kenyan way when we use like the way i used to cross roads you know we don't even wait for the lights to to turn green you know <laughs> Right. For like for the pedestrian to cross, we just yeah. cross, and also the the drivers are very very reckless and like ignorant. Let me say that because even if you see a driver and you, especially the matter to drivers and you wave at them to say maybe give me a way, let me pass first. They don't hear. First thing the drivers when they, they say a person are crossing in front of them, they have to stop, and they stop. So. There's this encounter for me in Sydney, Australia. I just mm. crossed the road mm -hmm. without following the traffic news, you know. I just, I thought I'm still in Nairobi, but it was so different. So, unfortunately, I I met a police officer and yeah. <laughs> I really well, they happen to be about, driving. Yeah. They, had to be, they happen to be driving in a yeah. police car just as Helen was hopping, um, walking across the street. Yeah. yeah, and they were just, hey, mate, next time before you cross the road, please wait for the lights to turn green, okay? I said, yes, 
a commit. <laughs> <laughs> you handled it well, Queen. Yeah. We, we stayed calm and, and yeah. yeah, and was people here responded. really observe uh, road rules and traffic rules a lot. Well, I think the philosophy that I grew up with, and most Australians, um, I'm sure you would agree, if everybody plays their part yeah. by all following the rules, then we shouldn't, you know, theoretically have any accidents. Of course, there are accidents yeah. because there's humans involved and yeah. you know there's always human error but very very rare very rarely you know yeah. do you see like serious and major accidents um yeah yeah and i love it here guys like you can literally walk on the road with, without you worrying yeah. maybe um yeah someone might pass with you you know mm. they're so observant respectful yeah and yeah let's talk about the the Australian like a general. These people are so welcoming, they're so happy, freely, like they're so loving. Whenever I go to the supermarket with Danny or anywhere I come, those people or maybe we are just doing our our walking, evening walks, yeah. they'll be like, Hi yeah. They know how to greet people, they're so generous loving and maybe you're not you haven't seen them but whenever you come in contact with their eyes they are always smiling at him like oh, gosh <laughs> okay yeah. so i love the way australian are oh. and yeah that's beautiful darling thank you what about in terms of like ease of moving around like to get from point a to point b like to get from like yeah. here to the beach it doesn't take long does it yeah. because there's no traffic jams everything kind of moves and flows um and people most people have cars yeah right? and most people here have cars they own cars and you know what can i say since i arrived here i haven't used public transport mm. and i miss i miss my tattoos but <laughs> that's okay i'm in a different chapter so a lot of people here own cars and there's no like tra much traffic as compared to uh, the way we have. We have traffic in Nairobi and yes, the roads are clear guys. Then the only, the only place I, I saw like there's a lot of traffic almost resembling to Nairobi one is Sydney because it's a busy town. Mm. Yeah. True. There is a little bit of traffic in Sydney. Yeah. True. It, yeah, but no, that's that's really interesting, babe. Yeah. And um, what about in terms of like appearance? You've spoken to me about cleanliness and the sidewalks yes. and street. You know, yeah. Actually, uh, when even you're walking on the road or you go to town anywhere, guys, you will not come into into contact with any litter. Like there's no trash. Mm. Like guys. This city is really, really clean. Yeah, it is. And actually. can I say a city or a country? Yeah, no, Gold Coast is, is a city. But like Australia in general is clean. It's but I think Gold Coast yeah. is definitely one of the cleaner. It's it's cleaner than Sydney. Yeah. Sydney and Melbourne are clean as well, but Gold Coast is cleaner. Yeah. Because yeah. I also think they they, they have been given like uh, three dustbins for yeah. like uh, waste management. Right. The, they have for the greens, if you have leaves or grass, you have yeah. to put in that dustbin, yeah. general waste, um, trash, yes. and then recycling. Um, the recycling bins, like any bottles, any, yeah. Yeah. any plastic thing, you have to put in that. That's why maybe uh, they're observing cleanness a lot. And it, the dustbins are in every homestead, guys. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And you're right, babe. The um, the three bins that each person owns um, on the Gold Coast makes a big difference. But also, the council have made a huge, um, you know, uh, effort to make sure yeah. that the city is clean. Like there's constantly council workers out cutting the grass, fixing up gardens, parks. Like you've been, we've been for some lovely walks through the parks, haven't we, babe? Yeah. And it's always so clean and well manicured. Yeah. Okay. Then okay. Um, my husband, being a teacher. Uh, he told me, you know, like mm. education here is free, especially when you take your kids to public school, it's free education. But when you take them to the private school, yeah. you have to pay and it's so costly. Yeah, yeah, private, Christian and um, yeah. Catholic schools. Yeah, uh, you have to pay school fees. But yeah. public school is free. Yeah, there's small levies in a lot of the schools, but yeah. it's, it's minimal. It's for things like uniforms and school camps. Yeah. Like that, but it's essentially free education. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
And when it comes to independent schools, the fees are, you know, they vary depending yeah. on the school's, I guess, status. Um, yeah. yeah. But, um, I think it's because you also like observe family planning a lot uh, compared yes, to true. like African countries. That's you a great can point. find like um, one family has like over mm. seven kids. Like mm. for, in our family, yeah. we are very many, right. and that also can contribute to someone not to to be able to pay school fees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. But public school in Kenya is not that expensive mm -hmm. compared to private schools. Right. Yeah. Okay, so it's yeah. still a little bit more expensive in, yeah. in private schools. Yeah, Yeah, I love it. I can't say that I'm loving it here in Australia only. Also in Kenya, I love it because there is freedom. There is, you know, a lot of things that you can freely do without doing it here. And I don't know. I don't even I I can I can mention them. But you know, that freedom of you know, uh you moving from point A to point B but again you have to, to use um any means of transport to get there. Compared to here it's your it's like you you have to own a car for you to move from point A to point B or rather use uh, public transport which yeah. is costive too. Uh, a little bit, expensive? not really. It, it you do have to pay for it, yes. Yeah. But it's it's pretty cheap. Yeah. But also bicycles are quite common here too. Basically, people yeah. being ha um, yeah. healthy and active on the Gold Coast. Yeah, I saw a lot of people riding bicycles here, yeah. guys. It's like fun. Yeah, we'll look to yeah. get some bicycles soon, babe. And yeah. Yeah, and take the fans on a blog with that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, I know what you mean, Queen. Cars are very quite essential here in Australia because the it's yeah. it's a large geographical space, Australia. Yeah. But um, I guess the good thing is once you get a car, you can move from point A to point B very yeah. very easily and quickly because the lack of mm -hmm. traffic, yeah, and traffic jams. Yeah. But I hear you, Mama. And another thing that I've seen here, like a lot of people um, own houses mm. than renting them. Compared yeah. to Nairobi, you know, owning a house in Nairobi, it's, yeah. I believe it's for the, like, um, mm. the first class people, or how can I say? In terms of wealth. Wealth, yeah. yeah. It's it's easy to own a house, but, you know, to get that money, it's really hard to get money. Mm. Compared to here, it does a lot of jobs, opportunities, money is here. But again, to own that house, you have to save. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was gonna say, babe, you're you're hundred percent correct. There are more homeowners here for sure, and it is a big thing to own a home here. Yeah, particularly a house rather than apartments. But it's getting more difficult now. Um, a lot of the younger generation, um, they're having trouble, yeah, being able to access that kind of money because housing prices have gone up so much here in Australia mm -hmm. because it's so popular and people want to live here. So lots more people live here now, and the housing hasn't expanded as yeah. in line with the population. But again, you don't have that population, like no, huge number not compared, of people here. That's than, right. Yeah, that's exactly right. Kenya, yeah. The thing is um, now the government and housing developments, they're trying to catch up with the rising population. Okay, yeah. yeah, but it'll happen. Yeah. But they've been caught off guard a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's um, it's it's certainly or it's it's a goal here to own a home for sure. And everyone theoretically has an opportunity to do it, you know. Because, um, as you say, there are opportunities, there are jobs, and there's good good minimum wage. Yeah. You know, the minimum wage is one of the um, the yeah. highest in the world. So yeah. Then another thing is healthcare here. Uh, yeah, I remember coming here. My visa allows me to uh, to have free access to healthcare services where i've applied for the medicare card medicare card is like a government card healthcare card that's um yeah yeah it that's provides owned by any uh by all australian like almost all australian citizens and yeah. also permanent residents where in terms of healthcare emergencies everything like basic healthcare services you can be you can access them and if there are some payments you need to pay, it's just minimal, not that much. Yeah. yeah, and you'll have free hospital cover in terms of an emergency. And as Helen said, it's it's for all permanent residents and all citizens. Um, yeah. You know, they have that avail availability. Yeah. And because um, I remember, yeah, because I remember that uh, there's a time I was sick. Uh, yeah, and we went to the hospital. They said, "Do you have a Medicare card?" Yeah. And there's a different rate between. 
you having a be, like being the a, a card holder mm. for for that medical like insurance card yeah. and just uh, a normal person the the charges are very different yes. so at that time i didn't have the card so the charges were slightly higher yeah yeah that's okay you know you got to do what you got to do health, yeah you know, but once you have the card, best form of wealth <laughs> yes but once you have the card it's yeah you're good to go, oh, good you to can, go. Yeah. yeah i really love it the way the systems are <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah absolutely and you've already experienced like the uh, being under the care of a doctor, haven't you, mm. here, babe? And you found it to yeah. be really professional and informative. Yeah. They looked after you with different tests and results yeah. and things like that. So, yeah. Yeah. Then another thing here is physical fitness, guys. Mm -hmm. I've never seen, I've never gone to a country and see people being this active. I mean, here in Australia, the first thing that I came across mm -hmm. with is people running. Yeah. People love running, like morning runs, evening yeah. runs, beach runs, yeah. and also gym. Like, gym mm -hmm. is everywhere, mm -hmm. along the beaches, along yeah. the road. You can just access them freely. Oh, my God. Because mm. people are really here watching their health and their physical health, which I came to know to realize that that's the reason maybe they have a lot of aged care people mm. here, and it's because you know, good life, good everything, yeah. yeah, long lifespans. And I think yeah. Helen mentioned people, uh, you know, you notice people smiling at you, even just when we're grocery yeah, shopping, and strangers. Just happy, but I think oh, that's. Like, <laughs> I, that, that's, the re that's the reason why they're happy, I think, because people are, f are generally physically healthy here. Yeah. So they're healthy. So you, you're always just happy and up, you know. Um, that's what I've noticed. You know, I've traveled a lot around the world too, and um, I've noticed something about Australians is they're, they're generally healthy, so yeah. they're a bit more smiley and easygoing. Yeah. yeah. Not so always, you know, down in the dumps or serious or, um, yeah. Just more happy yeah. and enjoying life. Yeah, if you don't great. see them running, you will see them at the gym. You will see them at morning uh, cycling <laughs> yeah. or morning walks or evening walks. Yeah. Oh my God, I love it here. Yeah. I've not, I haven't tried running yet, but while I was in Nairobi, I, I used or I tried to, to do the morning walk runs and mm. evening runs. Let me tell you, it's not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. We can just start out slow. We'll, have, we'll just have fun doing yeah. it together. But I tell you what, guys, she has really gotten into swimming in the ocean. You would not believe the progress that the queen has made in the water. Yeah. She's a true mermaid now. <laughs> a queen and princess in the water too. Yeah. You're just swimming incredibly, babe, and you're riding with the waves. So, yeah, we've done a lot of swimming at the beach. We've done a yeah. lot of walks too, haven't we, queen? And we're slowly yeah. building up our... Our health and yeah. fitness and gym. We do gym together, don't yeah. we, here in our home gym? It's like a routine here. If they, if people doesn't go to the gym, they go to the beach, morning walks, running. Yeah. So uh, it was really hard for me to adapt to them. But right now I'm okay. I'm yeah. used to because Danny always tells me, today we're, we're supposed to go to the gym. <laughs> like we have a gym in the house. Yeah. So it's a gym day. Or now the next day it's beach walk or swimming. Yeah. Oh, running. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. But we just do it to enjoy, yeah. guys. We don't do it too, too intensely. It's it's something great yeah. that we can do together. And we just do it at our own level and comfortable yeah. with what the other person wants to do. Yeah. It's great. Yep. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed our vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We love you and we cherish you. See you on our next vlog. Bye. Bye, guys. We're so grateful. Thank you. Thank you.